Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So recently I've been struggling with my UPS. I mean, it's been three, four months now. Uh, so I was struggling with my UPS, uh, my computer UPS. It was not able to give enough backup or survive the power outage. So I plan to replace the batteries. And in that process, I found out that lithium phosphate batteries are a good option. So I explored it and I end up building this 24 volt 12 ah battery pack now previously the ups had these uh, these are too heavy uh, these batteries these are lead acid batteries which are very heavy and they were not able to give enough backup like they were able to survive for like half an hour max when the ups was new and after a year it was able to give around 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes only and eventually it died so yeah instead of buying these batteries replacement batteries which cost me around 900 rupee each after exchange i thought instead of buying these lead acid batteries why not build a lithium phosphate uh, battery pack by myself i have a 3d printer so i designed the case uh, according to the battery pack which is inside this and this has some interesting features also and um, I mean you can use it with the UPS with the computer UPS you can keep this connected with the UPS you have to also modify your UPS a little bit so this has this battery indicator and this voltage and ammeter so if you want to check how much battery is left uh, we can just press on this button and it will tell us what's the current voltage of this battery back and how much battery is left second it has this XT60 connector which we can use to charge or discharge this battery so uh, i'm connecting my ups which is microtech ups using this xt60 connector and it works like perfectly fine uh, no issues at all and it also has this cigarette lighter where we can connect a you know car charger like this and we can get good amount of backup from this if i tell you i tested this and I've been using this for like three, four months now. This is able to uh, run my UPS, 24 volt UPS, uh, for three or 40 minutes to be exact on a 60 watt load. And 60 watt load was my this fan. Uh, so I ran this uh, when there was a power failure and it worked really well for three or 40 minutes constantly. And yeah, uh, if I talk about charging your laptops, so for that you can buy a cigarette lighter adapter which is rated for both 12 volt and 24 volt now this this one that i have is from amazon basics this works with uh, both 24 volt and 12 volt and i bought it like last year and use it in my car and if i connect it to the 24 volt it can deliver up to 45 watt of power from usb c connector that it has so yeah i use this with this battery pack whenever i'm traveling for like if i'm going to my village where power cuts are very often and very frequent so this has came really handy i mean when i'm at home i just connect it to the ups and when i'm out uh, i can just carry this along with me and i don't have to burn my fuel car fuel to keep uh, my laptops or my accessories charged and beside that if i talk about the specification as i told you this is a 24 volt 12 ampere hour battery which equals to 280 watts of energy more than more than that and this has nothing fancy in it uh, only these indicators a cigarette lighter an xc60 connector which is used for charging and discharging it i mean connecting it to the ups for discharge it's very easy to build anyone can build it i can show you the entire process of how i built it if you want to learn that please like this video if i reach like 500 likes i'm definitely going to share the entire process of how i built it and i'll definitely share all the stl files for 3d printing and i would also like to show you a smaller pack that i built and this is a 12 volt battery pack which is very small it can come into your palm you can carry it it's very lightweight very very lightweight it's a 6 amp hour 12 volt uh, battery pack which i used with my uh, car inverter 150 watt inverter and i ran the 60 watt load again on this and this was able to deliver one hour 
20 minutes that's it that's the maximum this can do before the ups died and the bms cut off the voltage so the safety system is inside it there's a temperature sensor also in both the battery packs so if the batteries are overheated the bms will cut down uh, the power supply the output supply and beside unlike lithium ion batteries lithium force fed batteries are very safe they do not catch fire uh, they may get heat up if you use them i mean not use them properly uh, but they won't catch fire but yeah uh, if i talk about this battery pack this has a charging connector and a discharging xt60 connector this is like hanging around because i have not printed that xt60 connector uh, for this but there's a slot in here which uh, where i'll put it in and there will be a battery indicator again on this which i'm waiting to deliver this i have recently built so yeah again you can connect your uh, cigarette lighter charger in this and charge your devices you know uh, this can deliver up to i think 30 watts of power uh, not 45 watt i mean combined power for usb 2 and usb c and that will uh, the if you connect this to the 24 volt the combined power goes to 65 watts yeah that's what this is rated for 69 watts not 65 yeah 69 watts of power so yeah that was all in this video i hope you find this helpful or fascinating and this was a great learning curve for me also if you want to learn how to build it how to install it on your ups if you have a ups and you want extended battery life or power backup in case of power failure i mean i used the this 24 volt battery pack with my pc it was able to uh, survive for like an hour more than that even in fact because that amperes goes up and down as ups gets heated so there's a fan installed that i've installed inside my ups which keeps it cool and that's why it it's able to run for that longer period again i told you i built this for like dual purposes to keep my systems on my pc and systems on in case of power failure and i don't want to replace my batteries every other year so this is going to last for like five six years seven years or maybe uh, because they have good uh, life cycle thank you for watching hit that like button if i reach 500 subscribers i'm going to show you the entire process and i'm also going to share all the stl files that you need to build this project and yeah thank you for watching have a great day